first half of the six-part Star Wars saga is a tale of false flag terror and war. What is a false flag event? It's when powerful entities within a government seek to have even more power. So, they orchestrate an attack on their own country, but they make it appear as though that that attack was really made by malevolent outsiders. The attacked populace then desires a retaliatory attack on the framed enemy. Finally, because wars invariably lead to greater government power and wealth, the government architects of the false flag end up with the power that they originally sought. Although this is really the core plot of the Star Wars prequel trilogy, it's so complex that many viewers, even some of the hardcore Star Wars fans, never really get a handle on it. So in the next few minutes, we'll explain how Star Wars is a deliberate analogy of history's false flag terrorism and wars. At the saga's beginning, Palpatine is a senior senator representing the planet of Naboo in the Galactic Senate. Beneath his professional facade, however, he has a secret plan to become the Republic's Supreme Chancellor, and much more. I will be Chancellor. To orchestrate this conspiracy, Palpatine and his co-conspirators arrange for a group called the Trade Federation to inv- OH MY GOD! Oh! Chill out! Rewind it! Look! the very planet he represents. The apparent goal is to murder the planet's queen. Palpatine knows that the sis, that they'll brand the sitting chancellor solid. Grab the freaking wing bar! What the heck? You're lying! You... Although the initial scheme is foiled when two Jedi help the queen escape, Palpatine cleverly adapts to the twist by duping the Queen herself into ousting the old Chancellor. Our best choice would be to push for the election of a stronger Supreme Chancellor, one who could control the bureaucrat and give us justice. You... What? What? Take care of the phone. No! 
No, it is a big deal. You don't even know what's going on. He thinks every time something doesn't work, that he's got to break it. Yeah. And now he That's the only way. Sit down. Sit down. If I don't break it, then everything goes wrong. Like, why would you go over here and have a seat? No. Talk it over. Steven, calm down. No. I'm not calming down. Stop. Come on, let's go here. No. Come on. Come on. No. Don't touch me. You do not put your hands on a police officer. Do you understand? I'll put my hands on the door first. Come over here and have a seat. No. Don't make me do this. Make you do what? I'm going to apprehend you. I'm going to take you into the station. No, I'm not afraid of you. Listen, this is going to be a simple solution or it's going to be a big deal. What do you want? Come on. I want you to get out of my face. I want you to get out of my face. Let's go ahead and see. That's what I want. So, get down. Don't make me do this. No, no. Blast warning. Ah! Ah! Oh, my God. Ah!